Hello, uh, Steve Barham here for Happiness is No Charge. I'd like to talk. To, I would like to talk today about anxiety and anxiety attacks and panic attacks. Um, after my father passed away in 2016, I had to go up on the roof to uh, check out a uh, leak at the old home and uh, I froze. I simply could not lift my leg to really get up on the roof. <laughs> and I couldn't, I had trouble navigating the ladder and how to get off the ladder onto the roof. So anyway, uh, when I moved here to the mobile home, I kind of had the same problem. I started having a roof leak and everything. I had to go up there and stuff to put plastic down and I needed to see what it looked like and everything and oh man I'm all agitated and aggravated and stuff in such a such a state. When I got the ladder out and got the ladder ready to and, and getting up the ladder and stuff like that I froze again. And uh, it's generally not like me. Okay. Um, so here I am frozen and I need to get up there and I can't, I can't. So I come down in a huff, you know, and I'm all mad and angry at myself. And I do my technique. I do my technique on being all huffed off and being all agitated and the, the being mad and being angry and stuff. And I do the technique on the fear, that frozen para fear paralysis. Paralytic fear is a anxiety attack they talk about uh, people who actually collapse on the floor and can't move okay not just uh, getting up and going up on a ladder some people have trouble uh, going upstairs I had a I had a friend whose daughter in high school uh, had a bad experience on the second floor but she can't go up the stairs so it looks like it's the stairs she's having trouble with no her subconscious mind is warning her about the danger the threat that is up on the second floor but it translates out as fear of the stairs okay so uh, I don't really fear ladders I fear height I fear being up up there okay and I get this uh, the sensation of vertigo and stuff and everything well I just wanted to show you that uh, the technique does work uh, I did that I came down all in the huff and everything like that I did my technique uh, on it uh, for uh, some time that day and the next day bang went up without any problem so uh, I've got the ladder here I've got a nice roof here and we'll go up I've got I've got to hold on to the tripod here. Ah, so I mean it's, it's stressful enough doing this with with my hands not full, let alone doing it with one hand on the ladder and one hand holding the tripod. Mm. Here we are, and here's the roof. Mm. And here's the last steps and a knee on the and a knee on the roof here. Oops. No problems. No worries, mate. <laughs> okay. And uh, here I am up on the roof with no no twinge. Not a twinge of fear. Okay. And as you can see, I've got a nice uh, mobile home roof. And a nice mobile home park and I've got a nice a nice view of the deep forest as it's called and uh, it's a really nice day it's starting to be chilly but it was really nice earlier for March afternoon and uh, you can see I'm walking around up here I haven't been up here well, I had a I had a leak in the back room that I uh, think I've taken care of for the for now. But you can see I'm up here and I'm not worried. I'm not, you know, if I look down, you know, I'm not terrified and 
what have you. And so the technique works. It's emotional. It's not just your brain cells. And it, it's, it's this uh, subconscious awareness of a threat that it takes as a threat and it hits you with that signal. Okay, and this is called emotional charge, and that's part of my work as an emotional researcher now. Okay, and so uh, there you have it. I wanted to show you that the technique can work on fear. And it didn't take long to get over that. I think, I think I maybe did the technique about 20 minutes. <laughs> okay. It's a real quick, fast technique sometimes. Uh, when I had my car accident and broke my wrist, I was in a state of shock and a uh, state of uh, breakdown and uh, crying fits and stuff. But even with a broken wrist and an excruciating amount of pain, the technique helped in that it got me I'm gonna have to put the camera down here so I can at least get some hand holds here while I get down on the ladder here there we go yeah. okay so there we are I feel a twinge because I've got nothing at my back. <laughs> but uh, it's only a twinge. It's not an overwhelming fear. It's not overwhelming terror. The technique will work on terror. And there we are. So anyway, with my uh, car accident, my broken wrist, uh, my doctor said it generally takes a couple of days for a person to be out of that type of shock. I was out of that type of shock in uh, eight hours. But that's another story. <laughs> and, it's on the, and it's on the website, it's on the blog. So uh, you can uh, click the link below maybe and uh, go to my website and uh, check out my blog page and uh, go down and read about uh, how the technique can help with all of the other little conditions that I've also had. So thank you very much. I'm Steve Barham. Best wishes from a researcher. <laughs> Best wishes from a researcher who has the problems. You take care.